Memories of the hairdresser, Lady Ethel Dillon. Right. It was in around the 1970s that I was asked by Lady Dillon's friend, Mrs. Crofton, would I be able to call to Clumbrock House to do Lady Dillon's hair once a month. Mrs. Crofton offered to drive me down to the house herself. So every month, Lady Dillon got a wash, trim and set. Mrs. Crofton and I used to go in the main entrance of the house. We'd ring a bell and the butler would let us in. The butler would then lead us to where Lady Dillon was seated. This sometimes was in her bedroom or in the sitting room. Her bedroom was up the main marble stairs towards the back of the house, overlooking the gardens. The sitting room was on the main floor to the left as you walked in the front door. What I remember of the sitting room was a large open fireplace and Lady Dillon sitting in a huge armchair. I also remembered that Lady Dillon was a very nice, pleasant person and was very thankful towards me for taking time off to come all the way up to do her hair. She was a frail woman with snow white hair. While cutting her hair, there would be general conversation among us. Then after the hair was done, Mrs. Crofton would ring a bell, which was beside Lady Dillon on a small table. Then the maid would bring us in scones and tea. All the crockery was china and silverware. There would have been the o these would have been the only rooms in the house that I would have seen. I can remember in her bedroom a canopy over her bed and lots of furniture, paintings on the walls. There were on the wall. There was also a lot of family pictures on the wall. In the sitting, in the sitting of. In the sitting room, there were lots of furniture with floral designs. There was one big chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Both rooms would have been carpeted. There was a big mirror hanging over the fireplace. What really stands out in my mind were the gardens. They were so full of colour and life. To the right-hand side of the house was the vegetable garden and the orchard. The cook, who, whose name was Kathleen Gately, she used to come down to Hasbrook to get her hair done, and whom I was friendly with, so sometimes we'd have to leave her back to the house. She'd bring us in to see the kitchen. The kitchen was down in the basement to the left of the house, around the back. What I remember of the kitchen was that it was cold and dark, with stone slabs on the floor, and the walls were full of copper pans and saucepans. It wasn't long after this that I heard that the place was up for auction. I remember at the time when the auction had been held that you had to buy a ticket to get into it. Uh, it was fairly costly. I heard that not long after that, long after Lady Dillon leaving Clambrock, that she passed away.